Thank you for inviting me to such a valuable meeting in SPGI, the Spine Conference today. It's the second time to attending SPGI conference. I'm happy to meet the uh, Professor Dr. Klamani and so many the Indian friends using the, the uh, online. Uh, endoscope surgery is uh, popular everywhere in the world now because it can be the most available surgical option as uh, the, one of the minimal invasive spine surgery. Today, I will talk about the endoscopic approach, endoscopic lower in spine field. As my disclose, uh, there has been huge increase, uh, a significant advancement in endoscopic spine surgery over the past few years, the endoscopic the decompression is being extended to the category of fusion surgery to treat for the lumbar and HDF for the cervical. I'm sure you are familiar with the advantage of endoscope surgery in spine field. The take unique the advantage of a spinal endoscopy. We can perform more effective safer the open uh, safer the spine operation for the patient in case of uh, the paracentral disc foramen disc the stenosis i prefer the posterior endoscopic uh, decompression and in case of uh, central qg hernia disc and opll the focal one level i recommend uh, the endoscopic HDF like this. I feel like there will be a change of indications in spine surgery more and more toward endoscopic surgery. The absolutely the role of open microscope surgery in spine the, would go down. We had to perform HDF in this case, the paracentral disc, the foramenal stenosis in the past. Now a few things of indication have changed. We believe the posterior endoscopic decompression have an important part as a minimal invasive spine surgery for cervical discectomy and the foramenotomy. As a video, C5 root decompression. So clean view is the one of the advantage of endoscope surgery. The ideal, the landing point of the instrument is medial board of lateral mass to perform the hemilaminectomy and the one fourth, the facetectomy to decompress its lateral and the contralateral area completely under the general the anesthesia. It's a three level with one skin incision, three level decompression, one skin incision. Is it possible with the endoscopy C with a sliding technique C45 decompression and moving to C5 or 6 bilateral decompression and the C6 root decompression. It's a C6 root, and then we can decompression C67 for C7 root decompression. It's a sliding technique. The interlaminar, the space in cervical is uh, in close uh, proximity to each other. Sliding technique is very useful for through level decompression with one skin incision, one fasciotomy. It's a four level model path. We are looking at uh, the endoscopy, posterior approach decompression. For a long time, surgeon have been performed HDF or laminoplasty for long level myelopath. From ipsilateral to contralateral side, 
full spinal canal decompression is available with an endoscopy. The post-operative MRI shows the significant increase in cross-sectional area and the AP dimeral without any muscle injury. Also, we can perform C1, the hemilaminectomy using endoscopy to decompress myelopath from C1 to atrial axial pseudo tumor case without the inst instability. We can make a space using endoscopy C1, the hemilaminectomy. There were endless agonies about the brain problem lead to pressure from water irrigation during, uh, during the operation. The, fortunately, there are no any brain complications after the operations. It uh, takes a long time to get the kind of endoscopic technique in high cervical region like a C2 root symptom in case, case of a rheumatoid panos arthritis instead of a fusion surgery. If post-operate CT scan, then we can use uh, endoscopy for to decompress C2 root. It's a C2 root in the final end stage of uh, the C2 decompression, C2 root. But some case, we need to perform fusion surgery and the implantation with the anterior approach in case of a midline pathology, like the central herniated disc, central cal calcified disc, or PLL because it is not easy to access to the uh, personal reason with uh, the posterior approach. The endoscope surgeon has uh, extensive experience in developing the technique, how to approach to the anterior cervical space for endoscopic process. We can use endoscopy in A step also with the 10 degree range angle, and we can use a one to 34 fiber millimeter casing punch and the drill. Before operation, it's very important to note the normal anatomy structures to avoid damage anterior visceral organ, like a keratinosis, esophagus, trachea. One of the most serious complications can be the esophageal injury during the operations. So insertion of labin tube is essential to uh, prevent damage of esophagus. Even though esophagus is more right side, it's a CM view, a right side in right side approach the generally push the anterior visceral organ, include esophagus with a finger to the, the opposite side is very important. And then you can use the needle insertion, needle to prepare the serial, the instrument, and the endoscopy. General anesthesia for endoscopic H step is recommended, to like open the H step. The skin incision. The size difference between microscopy and endoscope is like this. The after landing the endoscope system on anterior disc space, we can use an instrument like a punch, drill, forcep, same like a microscopic HDF. But fusion rate, subsidence, and says the alignment are same outcome post-operatory compared to microscope HDF because we use same case. It's uh, the eight millimeter, uh, eight millimeter two blade cervi uh, cervical retract 
need to be the installed before the, the implantation. The young male patient has a myelopath at C5 or 6, AP diameter is just a three millimeter. So what is your options? My choice was endoscopic, HDF. All process are performed under the endoscopic view, discectomy, and remove of osteopite and the cage insertion. It's a final stage of uh, the endoscopy HDF. Keep the drain is very important to uh, prevent hematoma postoperatively. And then you can see the esophagus move to the safe place, punch the postoperative x ray. The MRI, the actual view is uh, two weeks after operation. The skin incision is 1.5 centimeter. The six, six month post operative will follow the stable. And uh, as uh, uh, 80 male uh, patient uh, has a C34 myelopathy. In case of a malopathy due to the anterior the herniated disc and the posterior buckling of ligand flavum, endoscopy HDF and the posterior endoscopy decompression at the same time can be one of the options. The sagittal and the axial postoperative, the MRI that shows quite enough decompression punch, anterior HDF, and uh, posterior decompression. It's a millimeter, the peak cage with the DBM. We can see two drain, two drain, it's the opposite side. It's a HDF drain and the posterior decompression drain. See three, four endoscopy HDF, the video, the after removal PLL and the posterior osteopathy, you can see the pulsation of uh, the dura before impl implantation and the uh, posterior decompression at the same time. It's a video clip of posterior decompression from the ipsilateral to contralateral side. Uh, it's a uh, uh, artificial disc replacement with endoscopy. Throughout the, uh, our experience, we are constantly present with countless opportunities to improve ourselves. I think it's a great example of how we could use advantage of endoscopy. It's uh, the Dura, remove the PLL. I think the uh, spinal endoscope surgery is always separate to innovate. We can do it such a beautiful operation for a patient with a safety in the near future. Drain the post-operative X-ray. Okay, the, the first climber to get to the top of Mount Everest gave us a variety of information about which route, the which equipment, what equipment, how to control the body response from certain weather, air temperature. The secure many people have a blaze a new route to get to the top now. I think it's hard to hard at first always, but 
you will get used to perform endoscopic using this good in information. The challenging to uh, something is scary at the moment always, but we have a new weapon to overcome this, overcome the uh, many uh, difficult, many hump now. In a way, endoscopic science for equipment, endoscopic technique for surgical approach, the window of generational change are upon us. And we have to keep in going. And of course, we should help and influence each other to exchange academic inf you know, information. We will have to challenge new things always and expand our field as a homo endoscopicus. We will hopefully recover from this uh, tragic disaster corona to meet each other again as soon as possible. Thank you.